So the first thing with tuning a ski is to set your base edge bevel. <coughs> to set your base edge bevel, you have the ski flat with the base facing you. Adjust the end supports so that they're supporting the tip and tail of the ski. And then push the ski down just a little bit, clamp the center of the vise. And what the base edge bevel is, is in these diagrams here, we have a totally flat base of a ski with a flat edge and no bevel on the side edge. What we want to do with base edge bevel, keep the flat base, but then a base edge bevel recesses or angles the edge away from the snow when you're skiing on it, which allows you extra freedom and movement instead of your skis hooking and grabbing and a sensation that's not very fun everyone's felt. You want to have the edges just lift it up a little bit to allow the ski to roll over, angulate on the ski and utilize a side cut. And the tool that we designed is the Base Beast. What this tool is, it's a main body with a set distance away from the edge and an elevation strip that swivels. And what you want to do is you'll rest a file over the elevation strip and over the body there and that will dictate what your base edge bevel is. Good trick to learn how to base edge bevel or side edge bevel is to have a sharpie or any marker around and just make a couple little marks on the edge down the ski. What this does is it allows you to see if you're pulling the sharpie off you pull all the sharpie off base edge beveling and when it's gone then your base edge bevel is established at the degree you prefer. The golden standard for base edge beveling is one degree. Um, some elite level racers are using half degree. Other people prefer a little bit more than that in wide powder skis. But one degree, which is the red base beast right here, is my magic number for base edge bevel. And to use this tool, you put your thumb between the file and the body, and then your thumb over that part of the base beast, and then do a pinching action, both thumbs and both forefingers. And I always start on the left side of the ski because I'm right-handed and you need to pull with a file uh, and to backtrack just a little bit. Files are directional with teeth. So if you're using a file in this direction, the teeth aren't gonna bite into the edge. So you need to have the square edge of the file aiming the way that you're pulling. So I start up in the tip here and pull with gradual strokes down the edge, overlapping, not applying much pressure. And then I like wiping the filings off. And I've gotten rid of some of my Sharpie, but not all of it. So I'll go back and do a little bit more. And a big part of ski tuning is feeling the edge and listening to how the metal's pulling. So I'll wipe it off. And right there, that's pretty good for what I want to do. When I do the other edge of the ski, I will flip the ski around and then in turn be going tail to tip, but that does not matter for edging. There's old wives tails, you always want to go tip to tail, but that does not apply in edging, only scraping and brushing the ski. So once you pull the base bevel on this side of the ski, which also base bevel using a file is a process you only do when the ski is brand new or after you've had it stone ground and reflattened. Because once you apply the base edge bevel, it's always there, it's good, and that is not how you make the ski sharp. We'll get into that about making the ski sharp from the side edge. But the last step I do when base edge beveling is I use a gummy stone to round off the edges past the running surface of the ski because you need the ski sharp from the widest part of the tip to the widest part of the tail. And beyond that, you don't want any sharpness there because that would create the ski to grab and go in a different direction than you're optimally trying to go.